looking at the lights, my, my reference for turn one was the pit exit with somebody, like that blue light, that, that's all I could see. And I was just like hoping I was not like hitting any walls. Cause like I saw these red lights and then the red lights were gone and I was just 180 <laughs> miles an hour going into turn one. I'm like, that, that was the scariest race I've ever done in my life. Waypoint of his second attempt and keeps it in the 232 range. This is looking really good. Check it flag out for David Malukas. What's that four lap average look like? And can he threaten the 12? He can. That was awesome. The 20 year old is in at the moment. 231 6 for the rookie. Well done, David Malukas. David Malukas. Hi. He's the actual fastest rookie. Fastest. Hey, All right. You recording? Oh, yeah, I've been recording. <laughs> We're going to have that, okay? Sorry, you can go. All right, we'll have to make it quick because it's like a rough night. Yep. All right, it, today is carb day. It is currently rained out. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna go on track. Hopefully we do. I got my morning cup of coffee. Uh, we are gonna be starting P13 for the race. So today's goal is kind of to get the car comfortable with being in packs and trying to get moves done. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get the car to a reasonable point by the time race comes. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys then. We were friends. We were friends. Now we're no longer friends. But now we have to tighten this back up. Yes. No invite, but this guy gets the invite to go see Tom Cruise last night. Look at him, he's happy. Scrubs. I invited David, you. David, I want to drive the Tesla now. How's it going? I'm Ross Bunnell. I'm the race engineer for the 18 car. Uh, Dale Coyne Racing with HMD with David and Lucas. Um, so far, it's been going pretty good. I'm loaded pretty strong. Uh, I've been getting more and more comfortable in traffic. Past Friday, we probably felt, you know, conditions were terrible, but we felt like we had a pretty quick car. So Saturday, we weren't super pleased with not making the past 12. Um, we were definitely on the bubble there. Unfortunately, I think, I think for the Ganassi cars, but we've been pretty strong all month. Uh, Monday, again, felt pretty strong in traffic. We've had a pretty good car, actually. You know, Thursday, the track, you know, is 82 ambient, track temp was up. We were pretty comfortable. I'm loading on Monday, similar setup. Still very, very comfortable. So I think we're in pretty good shape going. It feels very good. It's been a, you know, I guess in general terms, I'm still 20 years old, but for me it's felt like a long journey. You know, we started when I was seven years old, and my parents, you know, they, they came to the U.S. with nothing, and then they built, you know, they started with just my dad being a truck driver, my mom being the dispatcher, and now they've built, you know, the, the company almost has over 500 trucks now with h and Trucking, and they've been very successful, and it means a lot that they've put everything that they've earned into me, you know, in achieving you know, my dreams of coming here to IndyCar. Also my dad, you know, he's, he was a massive racing fan when he, when he was growing up, but he never had the opportunities back in, in Lithuania when he was occupied by the Soviet Union. So uh, it's almost like I'm living my dream, but he's also living his dream that he always wanted through me. So it is, it is a, it's a very good story. Uh, and you know, we, they've you know, managed to achieve the American dream and me being a first generation American, you know, they've given me a lot of opportunities and I'm happy to, to made it this way. Something with my finger monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Rock on. That's a new one for me. That's, that's actually great. Awesome. Right. Enjoy. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Edgar Finger Monkey. <laughs> that Malukas was coming through. It's surprising. I mean, he was he was very close on his gearbox, David Malukas was, and Santino Ferrucci's spotter should have been all over that. I'm sure he was, I'm sure they were. I'm not saying they weren't, but you would think that Santino was getting a lot of information about the run that the 18 had. But yeah, that's, uh, man, this late. Let's just watch it again in real time. Wow. I don't know, he would have seen him before he hit him. He, he would have thought you would have seen in your mirror if you're Ferrucci.
Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I just finished my breakfast on the way here and I already had my morning poo. And all I'm missing is my morning coffee, but I feel very good and ready for today. So I'll see you guys later today when we do all the parades. And she only cared about this. Can if you not? Thank you so much. I know, yeah. Thank you. Thankfully, all I had was just a small bruise on the foot, which is quite impressive. Like hitting a wall at 200 plus, and you just come out with a small bruise. It's like, but when I spun around, I was like, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a bad one. <laughs> you want me to sign that? <laughs> I'm not seeing that again. <laughs> It is officially race day and I am just about to go into the garage here and we're about to do some debriefs and then from there on out I think Karina's just gonna take me and then do all the other you know media things that you have to do for race day but I'm really excited also a little bit nervous I had an early wake up this morning with the cannon the cannon wasn't actually that bad it was just the fireworks afterwards it was literally just going for a good five minutes and um, yeah so it's um, I mean, it's, it's race. I can't believe it's finally here. It's been a, it's been a long month of May, but uh, yeah, we're finally going to get it done, and uh, I'll see you guys after the race.
Stop bringing her home, man. A month ago, you said this is the month we'd have with him. I think we'd all have taken it no problems at all. So you always want more. You know, you, you qualify 13th, you want 12th, you want 5th, 6th, first row. You finish 16th, you want more. But I think you should be very proud of what he's done here this month. He's done a great job for being a rookie here. Honestly, halfway through, uh, you kind of just turn into a zombie. It's like you just do so many laps, you're just, just like that, you know. So you do a new set, then you like push for like five laps, try to do something, and then again, you just turn into a zombie. So it's all about rhythm. Um, all in all, though, I mean, we did everything I wanted is to finish and top rookie, and that's everything we achieved. So I'm really happy with how that ended up and uh, brought it home. So that's the most important thing. So that is officially the end of, of the month of May and the end of Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So I will see you guys at Detroit.